also take off paint, ink, and scuffs on your floor, but what's it doing to your nails? I think it's time to remove the mystery about which remover to buy. Next shoe, please. Polish your own shoes. Nail polish is popular in all social circles, from high fashion to punk rockers. We've signed up the help of the band The Black Halos. They may wear nail polish, but they're untested when it comes to removing it. I usually don't use nail polish remover. I just sort of like let it erode. It just sort of disappears eventually with time. Or chip at it with a knife or whatever you gotta do. Together with our extreme rockers, we're going to test seven nail polish removers to see which make our hit list. First up, three liquid acetone-based removers. Equate from Walmart is our least expensive remover. For a few pennies more is one of the most recognized drugstore brands, Qtex. Then, only sold in spas and beauty supply stores is the designer brand, OPI. Since some people don't want to use acetone, we'll also test Revlon's non-acetone remover. It's made from ethyl acetate that's supposed to be a milder solvent. That's the same thing OPI's non-acetone remover contains, but OPI is more than five times the price. And we'll also use two non-liquid removers from industry leader Sally Hansen. Quick Off is a dip and twist product with moisturizers like apricot extract and vitamin E and a gel-based formula, Diamond Strength Gel Nail Enamel Remover. We'll all use each product on a specific fingernail every day for the next 10 days. We don't like to use cotton balls to take off our nail polish because they get too soaked and the little fuzzies stick to your fingers. If you have to use them, just rub them between your hands like that. But ideally, you can use those flat makeup remover pads or, like they use in the spa, gauze. And you want to hold it against your finger until you start to feel that polish slide off. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> To get a true handle on nail polish removers, we're taking a shift at the very busy Vita Wellness Spa. How's my technique? It's very good. You have to put some muscle power into this one. If you dunk your finger in, just swirl it around a bit. This is the fastest one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the smell that's strong. Look at what happens when you pour acetone on a piece of styrofoam. That is fast. We turn to can test chemist Barbara Morrissey to find out what it does to our nails. Is it um, a particularly harsh chemical? It is quite harsh. You'll notice on the products that there are warning signs. So it's not a chemical you want to have near an open flame or breathe in too deeply. So you don't want to work in very small areas with it because that could be uh, harmful to your lungs and your respiratory system. Nails are made of a protein called keratin, which is very absorbent. In fact, your nails can take in 20 to 25% of their weight in water. Oh. Hello. And when they take on that water, the keratin can swell and split, causing the nails to break and become brittle. Now, the nails themselves don't actually absorb any chemicals, but the skin around them does, so be careful with your cuticles. Our experts tell us you should only use nail polish remover about once or twice a month. Why are you swimming in the rain? Because it's nice. What if it's, there's lightning? Come in. Ten days later, it's time to tune in to the band to see how the products played out. This was the one that really worked for me. There's just something great about that. I mean, look how quick that went. I mean, that's so quick. It's amazing. OK, okay but lo look how dirty it is. Yeah, it's so what? It's and yucky. And then you get nail polish remover all the way down your finger. Yeah, but it feels good. Rob the drummer also liked the quick off even though he couldn't use it everywhere. You know, what if you want to use it on your toes? It's right. not like you can, like, stick your toes in there. I tried. I probably can. I tried. No, you can't. I tried. You can't. You, can. you, can. you, can. you can. can't, and I've got strangely long toes. Can you demonstrate? No. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> okay. As for Dennis, it was a different non-liquid product that struck the right chord with him. I like the gel. See, I hate the gel. I, I hate the gel. It's because totally you guys aren't doing it right. It's good oh. for putting my hair up. That's about it. <laughs> What we did all agree on was that there was little or no difference between acetone and non-acetone removers in terms of effectiveness or dried out nails. But when it came to smell, it was only the equate that didn't hit a bad note. It's kind of almost fruity. It is. Yeah, it is it's not, I like it in a kind of strange, addictive way. <laughs> 
But in the end, the shopping bag's vote goes to Revlon. We like the absence of acetone and the inexpensive price, even though we really didn't see any moisturizing effects. Their eyes opened and their nails cleaned, most of the band is going to start using their favorite nail polish remover, but not Billy. I like the chip look. The wear makes it more beautiful. We've been interrupting your art. Yes, you have in a lot of ways. <laughs> but it was fun because, you know, I got to sit there and take A and sit there and go like that. Always the same while. finger, too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you can see.